So we're going to be doing our horns today, and ideally you're going to get two symmetrical horns. Um, now, when I did my helmet last year, this first time, you know, I thought my horns were pretty modest while I was making them. I didn't think they'd be too big, and then once I got them attached, they looked pretty massive. So they really stick out. You know, most kids only made horns that are about half the size. Um, that's all I'm going to show you for today. Uh, if you want to, you know, embellish these, you know, go big, make them really crazy, twisted, you know, kind of like ram's horns or, or something, you know, straight out of Dungeons and Dragons, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, I would encourage you guys to, you know, get creative with this. Um, I did include some extra horn images on the slideshow that you guys can check out later, but I want to get down to business and start to make these, okay? So you're going to need a couple things. Uh, you're going to need two pieces of tin foil. I include those in your packet. All right. You're going to need just a little bit of newsprint, you know, one sheet, and we'll tear it up from here. Um, and then you're also going to need some masking tape or some painter's tape. Uh, scotch tape is not going to work well for this. I would also um, suggest you don't use duct tape. Um, if we get once we get the horn built and we do the outer layer, you'll need some paper mache paste still. And for that outer layer, I gave you guys um, this bone colored newsprint. I don't know if there's any football fans out there, but the Los Angeles Rams got new uniforms that are dirty gray and they're this color. And they, they say it's bone color in their marketing. Um, so that sounds better than, than unwashed, dirty gray. Um, so you can use this. This newsprint's really nice for doing an outer layer because it, it's, it's soft and thin and fibrous and it soaks up the, the paper mache paste. Um, you could use uh, any number of other colors as well, I guess. I, I, maybe not copy paper. It's a little too glossy, kind of hot pressed and uh, it will work, but ideally newsprint will be a little bit better. So first things first, we're gonna make armatures. Now an armature is the structure inside of a sculpture that provides support for the sculpture. So now it might be a little confusing because for making horns, you think of a horn as kind of just one solid bone, which you know, on an animal, that's basically what it is. Um, but uh, I'm talking about making armatures, that's kind of like the skeleton or the bone for a sculpture, okay? Um, you know, obviously if something's made out of metal, um, it's just kind of, or a sculpture's made out of metal, it's just one material, it's self-supporting. Um, but other things, you know, like theater props that are made out of paper mache with chicken wire, um, they need an internal structure or a skeleton, and that, that's called an armature. Okay, hopefully that mouse cursor wasn't in the way. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to set the length. I would maybe fold your piece up into a triangle, and then you're simply just going to, to start to roll it up. So I'll put my camera down so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And you're going to do the same for both pieces, okay? So we're going to kind of work um, in sync with both of these, kind of the, both, both the same height. We'll roll it up. I, I did a triangle. That way I'm going to get a little more um, mass in this armature down at the, the bottom as opposed to what will end up being the pointy top. So roll that one up. And the nice thing about this tinfoil is after you, you know, roll these horns up, we can still twist it. We can still... Um, even cut it with scissors if it's too long. Like, for instance, if that's too long of a horn for you. Okay? So something like that. Let's do the same thing for this one. Start at the bottom. Roll it up. I know. Well, I gave myself a little too much. You guys are always more than welcome to add in more if you want more. Um... You know, I folded mine in half just so I wouldn't have so much, to be honest, because I, I would almost say I tore myself off too much, and I gave you guys a, a more manageable amount, okay? So you should have enough. 
But if you want more, you can simply use some more. I also used, um, I guess, regular aluminum foil. Um, there's a distinction on the shelf between heavy duty and that's that's a little bit thicker. Um, the thin stuff's kind of nice because because you can bend it and shape it into place. So kind of check the length. They're both pretty similar. Um, I'm going to twist these up a little more so that they, they tighten up and they get a little more structure to them. All right. So twist them tight. And then this is like essentially going to be like sculpture wire. Okay. If I thought it was too long, and these ones are pretty long, I could just trim off a little bit with scissors. And you know what? I might even do that. First, I'm going to just twist them up. All right. Now, I could start to curve them right now, you know, if I wanted to, to put a crazy twist in one. Um, but let's wait until we get some newsprint on those, and then it'll be easier to put the newsprint on these while they're straight. And then we'll twist them after we get newsprint on them. So I don't see any scissors handy, so I guess we're, we're making some little bit longer horns. Um, you, I could always just fold this back in. That's okay. Um, we, I think you do want to start with a point at the top, but you know, can't be too sharp anyways. So get in trouble at school. Um, and then again, I guess you guys are at home. So I've got two horns, roughly kind of the right shape, just like that. We're going to go with that. Let me move my mouse pad out of the way. That way I got some white space. So Move it down a little bit. You guys are going to get to see my hands, not my face. Lucky you. Um, is there a question or is that somebody showing up late? Let me let me pause it and see if I can get back. So resuming. All right. So you got a full sheet. That's going to be a little unwieldy. I would suggest that you, you rip these into smaller pieces. So start by, you know, Ripping it down the middle, and then each of these you might want to rip in half as well. Okay. Um, now, there's no great way to do this because it's a little different for everybody. I'll move it down so you guys can see. Um, you are going to try to want to keep these a little bit symmetrical. So maybe have one for each. You know, if I start like this, can you guys see that? Um, you're going to want to start at the top or the point on your horn, and then we're going to kind of twist and wind it down. Um, and I might have to do this off camera so I don't have to record myself struggling. Um, that's a nice part about, about art is normally most people only get to see the finished product. They don't have to see the struggles and failures that hopefully go on behind the scenes. Um, so then you just have a finished project to show off, or product to show off. Um, but you're going to get this started at the point and just kind of twist it down. Um, and then, you know, we want it to, to add volume in kind of a conical shape as it goes down to the bottom. Now this one, you can see it's about an inch and maybe a quarter at the end. I would, you know, maybe even make it more thick than that. You know, you can make it up to two inches thick at the bottom, but still try to keep it tapered to a point at the other end. So take a minute and do that. I'm going to get some tape handy. Um, now, you're going to need the, the masking tape to hold the newsprint onto the armature, but you're not going to want to use the masking tape in place of the newsprint. Um, for one, masking tape is significantly more expensive than newsprint, and we don't want to be wasteful with it especially when you're in a classroom with 30 kids. Um, but two, uh, you know, you're just going to want to get your volume from the newsprint, get a little bit of air in there to, to build up the shape. And um, I don't know if I want to really just wad it up like that and twist down. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um,
kind of loose and messy at first. Adding some bulk into it. Um, and then I'm probably going to go back and do another sheet over top of it. All right. So start at the point. Twist down. You guys see what, what I got going here? And then when you get to the bottom, just put some tape to hold it. And so you can kind of see how I started at the top and then it got a little bit thicker as I kind of overlapped on itself to go down to the bottom. And then I'm going to do another one just like that. So um, maybe I'll get it started. Kind of a trapezoid shape. Start right there. Gonna add some tape in just to get that going. Um, another thing about using too much tape is we're gonna paper mache over top of this, and it's really going to stick a lot better. The paper mache will stick a lot better to the newsprint than it ever would to masking tape. So the bottom of my horns right there, I'm gonna head to add add some more bulk around the bottom yet. Um, but I am I know it looks really messy, but I'm really trying to be consistent. And to get something kind of like that. So no, it's kind of a hot mess. Actually, this horn doesn't look too bad. Surprise, surprise. Um, and then just masking tape to hold it, okay? Um, I might even do one more piece down at the bottom. Um, but then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the second one. And I'll probably do that off camera so you guys don't have to see me struggle with it, okay? So I've got my base down here. You know, it's about an inch thick. Probably add on another piece to, to thicken up this horn a little bit. Okay, so you've got your armature, and then you're going to do the newsprint. And then we can bend it into shape, okay? And that, that uh, tin foil inside there will hold its shape. Now, you can see because it's got a lot of air in there, when I bend it, it's kind of smooshing down. And I don't know if you see how that my horn got flattened. And you don't really want that. Okay, so try to, you know, bend your horn back to shape. And you'll see I got a lot of wrinkles in here now. Okay, now when you do your paper mache, and you know what? Let's see, why don't I use these smaller horns for now? Um, I want you to be really um, purposeful about how you're putting on your paper mache pieces onto these horns so that they look nice they look like horns they don't look like messy paper mache all right so i'm gonna add a little curve to this horn i'll do the same with this one so they're matchy matchy all right that'll work for now just enough for my demonstration so You've got this paper as well. If you need more of this, I can give you more of this as well. I know it's the whole point of staying at home to do this is that you don't have to come to school. Um, but I would suggest that you guys rip off, um, you know, maybe one and a half by three or four inch strips of, of newsprint. And it's going to be kind of the same thing. Um, I'm going to start at the top at the point and work our way down. So demonstrate really quick. And we're gonna put this on kind of like um you know the stripes on a barbershop pole. Or maybe if you've ever seen if you play sports and you see somebody gets a sprained ankle, um how you kind of tape up an ankle too. All right, but start it at the top, get that point really nice, and, and then we're just going to twist down, just kind of like how we put the newsprint on. 
so we could call this newsprint as well without the typing. Um, and, and you can add a little bit of volume to this, um, but as long as you guys are putting this on in strips, as you're, you're working down from top to bottom, you're going to cover up any of those wrinkles or any of those irregularities from trying to form it out of the, the newspaper and the, the masking tape. And then it'll be nice and smooth. You know, you could even use a smaller piece, I suppose. Um, you know, start there at the top, work your way down, um, and try to get it to cover up those wrinkles. All right. You don't want any parts that are flying up and really take your time with these horns. Okay. Baby them. Give them some TLC. Really take your time. Cover up any wrinkles. Use little pieces like patches to cover up any parts that are flying away. Don't want too much overlap. I want these to look really nice. Okay. So, you know, this horn doesn't seem too big now that I'm started. But I don't know if you can look really close. I'm doing an okay job. You know, I can see a little wrinkle there. That could get another little piece to, to smooth on down. But kind of see it's it's covering up what otherwise would have been wrinkles like that because I go over top of it. And I'll just do a few more pieces just so you get the gist of it. All right. Kind of longer, more managed, or, you know, kind of like strips. I know that one's more of a chunk than a strip. But I'm still going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of pick up where it's hanging off. Blend it in with that torn feathered edge and just kind of curl down and build up a few layers of this, okay? Um, again, if you run out of this, this bone colored clear new or unprinted newsprint, um, I can get you more of that as well, okay? So there's still a little wrinkle there. I could put another piece of paper over that and cover that up and I'll work down, you know, even my, my point could use another piece. So that is how we're going to make our horns. And then hopefully you've got two finished horns. And then we will hands, add some brackets to attach them um, later in the week. Okay. So you've got some work in front of you. You're probably not going to get this done in 40 minutes. This might take two or three sittings in class. I, I know I tell the kids two days, but I know it usually takes three. Okay. Um, so try to get those done, all right? Armature, number one out of tin foil. Two, wrap the newspaper around it with masking tape. And then three, give it a nice finished outer layer of um, the unprinted newsprint, okay? Um, and then one final thing, you it will be helpful to have a um, paperboard roll, either a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube. Um, for when we attach these brackets. If you don't have something cylindrical, that's okay. You can use something flat like a cereal box as well. All right. Um, any questions? I'll, I'll help you guys with that right now.